CompTIA A Plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 116 through 120. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 116. Which of the following cable types is commonly used to connect printers directly to a workstation? The answer is C, USB. The USB cable is the gold standard for connecting modern printers directly to a workstation due to its widespread support across multiple devices, plug-and-play capability, and ability to carry both power and data simplifying the setup and use of printers. Question 117. What is the greatest amount of power that PoE Plus can deliver to a single device? The answer is B, 30 watts. The standard for power over Ethernet Plus, PoE Plus, which is IEEE802.3AET, has an upper limit of 30 watts of power that can be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable to a device. This increased capacity compared to the original PoE standard and allowed for the powering of more demanding devices directly through the network cable without the need for additional power sources. Question 118. Which hardware component should be replaced to fix an unresponsive touchscreen on an Android smartphone? after ruling out software-related issues. The answer is C, digitizer. The digitizer is the component of a smartphone responsible for processing touch input. When the touchscreen doesn't respond and software issues have been ruled out, replacing the digitizer is often necessary because it means the physical touch interface is likely damaged or malfunctioned. Question 119. When replacing RAM in a server equipped with a redundant power supply, which of the following options would best prevent damage due to electrostatic discharge? The answer is C. Use a grounding strap. The use of a grounding strap prevents electrostatic discharge, or ESD damage when handling sensitive electronic components. A grounding strap, also known as an antistatic wrist strap, safely dissipates any static electricity that might be present on the technician's body or clothing. This is crucial because ESD can damage electronic components without visible signs, potentially causing the hardware to fail. Question 120. For a laser printer failing to print on one side of the paper, even after changing the toner, which action should the technician take next? The answer is D. Calibrate the printer. Calibrating the printer is likely the next best step because it can correct issues where the printer is not properly aligning the print on the page. This process adjusts the printer to precisely match the print position with the paper size and type being used, which can resolve inconsistencies in printing on specific areas of the page. Calibration is a standard procedure when encountering print quality problems not resolved by replacing consumables like toner cartridges. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.